third is 2016 and we are still improving backup. Um, the, the latest addition, of course, being cloud. There's a lot of people that talk about the cloud, and then there's people that are actually using the cloud to make backups better. I'm talking to Mohammed Al Shafi from Unitrends. How's it going? Doing well. There are a number of problems that we've written up here that have been, frankly, problems since I spun my first backup tape back in <coughs> 1993. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, you talk about sending data off site. That's always been a problem. Amazingly, some people still don't do that, but it's still a problem of getting it off site. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, some people want to keep backups for a long time, automating that process, and then of course, this is this has always been the continuity has always been a something that somewhat eluded backup, right? Backup had, uh, was good for restoring a file, a database. It, most people historically haven't used it for continuity. If they wanted to do DR or continuity, we went to some other product, replication or something like that. Um, but we're starting to see backup products like yours look into the continuity. And then this idea of automated DR testing is frankly the feature that excites me more than any other. So I can't, you know, and, but, but many backup products including many of the ones that continue to own a majority of the market share, mm -hmm. don't have a lot of these features. So how are you guys solving those problems? Sure, so as you mentioned, there, there's a lot of challenges revolving around off-siting data uh, when it comes to backup and automating the things that we all need uh, and see organizations need more and more of, uh, whether to do off-siting data, I need to have my data somewhere else, I need to have uh, long-term retention of my data, months, years, forever. Uh, but I also want to have a, a sense of uh, confidence in that this data can actually work for me when I need it. Right. And so what we're doing is fitting all the pieces of the puzzle together into one platform we call the Connected Continuity Platform from Unitrends. And at the, at the base of that here is, is our appliance that's uh, in the customer uh, data center protecting the workloads, whether it's physical servers, we protect over 200 operating systems, whether it's virtual machines doing hypervisor-based snapshots from the likes of VMware or Hyper-V or Citrix, uh, we're able to do that and capture that on the appliance. The appliance is there to give the, the customer uh, the local retention that they need, multiple right. weeks uh, of that, but then uh, to, to offsite that data, we're able to take those backups and make a backup copy, if you will, into our cloud that we manage for our customers. So with that, the customer is able to cross that off in that they're able to take the data somewhere else, not just my local data center. But we're also automating that long-term retention. So not only are we uh, putting a copy of the data in our cloud, we're uh, introducing uh, a unique offering we call Forever Cloud, where we're literally uh, offering GFS, grandfather, father, son type of retention in the cloud where data is kept forever. So that's automated and it's kind of wrapped into offsiting that data together into one. Now, can I, can I ask you a sure. question? So what if I don't want to use your cloud? What if I want to do something else other than that? Unitrends integrates with uh, uh, the likes of Amazon or Azure to take the data uh, from on-premise, mm -hmm. on-appliance, into third-party uh, cloud providers like that. And then what, what I'm talking about what, here with this one. What if I've got my own data center? Can you I can do absolutely that? Can do, I do that. that. As okay. long as you have an appliance on each end, gotcha. uh, it could be our physical appliance models, or it could be the virtual appliance. The two can interact. But uh, this and, is the, this the service deploy. that you're offering is, is basically the Unitrends cloud. Absolutely, okay. this is a, a Unitrends branded, Unitrends managed right. uh, cloud. It's not that you're using uh, a third party. It's right. by Unitrends. Of course, we have service providers and partners that have. Uh, uh, Unitrends offering as a cloud okay. for them. They can do that if, if they choose to do so. Uh, and uh, we build it off the model that we have in our own cloud for forever retention. Let's talk about this idea of continuity. So th as I mentioned, historically, if we had, so let's see, where, where's our physical server? This is, this is my artwork. Your artwork is much better. <laughs> so my physical server or VM or whatever uh -huh. dies, right? So this guy is now dead. <coughs> um, and, you know, he literally, look at this, this is fire. He literally catches fire. You know, historically, what I had to go do was go buy another one or go find another one and then do a restore into that. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there for hours, you know, potentially days, 
right? Correct. What do you guys do that's different than that? So the, there's the uh, cloud recovery option where the, the workloads that are in our cloud can then be instantly recovered in the cloud mm -hmm. in what we call disaster recovery as a service uh, for continuity and uh, we basically establish a connection for our customers to reach their data that's now running in the cloud to connect in there. Uh, we did not leave behind the traditional right. recovery right. abilities, whether it's bare metal uh, for physical servers. Uh, we do dissimilar restores from one hardware to another. We also do instant recovery for physical servers as well as virtual machines where we can spin up the machine as a cloned VM uh, either on the appliance itself mm -hmm. or offload it to a hypervisor to give you a lot of options for recovering in those situations where you don't have the hardware to recover to right then and there. So if, if I understand you correctly, I could spin up this this VM copy, this copy of my VM or VM copy, either up here in the cloud or off of on my premise. local appliance. Okay. Correct. Great. In the worst case scenario, your data center is gone, right. inaccessible. We have the option to recover you in our cloud uh, in our continuity and DR Great. options there. And then what about this? What's this idea of automated backup and DR testing? Uh, it's what we call recovery assurance from, from Unitrends. Uh, it's uh, uh, a product that we, uh, uh, or a feature of the product we call reliable DR. Uh, it's basically taking replicated workloads in our cloud and it's doing automated testing of those machines and testing the applications that may exist within. Think of multi-tiered applications where you have a number of servers that need to come up in a special sequence mm -hmm. or a particular order with some tests that need to be run for each mm -hmm. to make sure that it's going to work when it is up and running. We perform recovery assurance of those servers in, in an automated way where we supply our customers with SLA reports and compliance reports that tell them exactly how long it took, what are the recovery time objectives versus actuals mm -hmm. based on the testing that we did. Mm -hmm. So when they have a cloud solution, they know it's working for them in an automated way. Right. So I've got so I've got an exchange server, maybe a domain controller, right? Uh, and I don't know, maybe an Active Directory server over here. And you're saying I can put all these three together and whatever else I need, start them all up together in the appropriate order. In the appropriate and order. And then make sure that and then do some some sort of testing to figure that figure out that this whole thing is good. Absolutely, cool. and and we use the uh, the underlying technology of instant recovery to make that possible for all those workloads and have a way to get them all working together for that testing and, and recovery assurance to make sure. And it's can I do work. that also here and there? Recovery assurance can work on premise okay. if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to go to the cloud. Yeah. Not everybody has a second site, but they still have hundreds of machines that they want to be able to test, make sure right. the backup's good, as opposed to trusting the, right. the green block. Uh, recovery assurance can work for on-premise as well. Oh. Absolutely. Great. All right, well, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. All right, and thanks for watching. Again, I'm W. Curtis Preston from Stored Switzerland.